SpaceX's mission to Mars could soon take off. From, well, it wouldn't exactly take off from right here in L.A., but mm -hmm. it would be built here in right. L.A. Yes. Well, the company plans to build its big rockets and spaceships at the port of Los Angeles. And CBS News' Joy Benedict is live on Terminal Island. Joy? It sounds better if you say take off from L.A. The idea takes off from L.A., right, guys? And that's something to certainly be excited about. We are live right now on Terminal Island, and I want you to look at these old buildings behind me. They haven't been in use in about a decade or so, but originally this port was built to make World War II ships. Now it'll hopefully be the new site of SpaceX where they're going to build rockets. <laughs> Of course, we all saw back in February, SpaceX launched the Falcon Heavy test flight to Mars, and that is just the beginning. The company plans to develop and build the BFR, a rocket being built for the mission to Mars and to transport passengers around the world in record time. The BFR, which stands for Big Falcon Rocket, will be the largest rocket ever built, capable of carrying 150 tons and powered by 31 Raptor engines. But when built, the BFR is so big that it's going to need to be taken away by ship, which is why it needs to be on the water. And and why they want to rent this 18 acres here at the Port of Los Angeles. The site's also going to be used for the recovery of vessels returning from space and retrieved by drone ships. Mayor Eric Garcetti even commented on it in a State of the City address yesterday, saying with the Lucas Museum, the Science Museum, and SpaceX, they are truly inspiring young Angelinos to reach for the stars. That girl could be the first human being to set foot on Mars. And she joined a long line of Angelinos who don't just mark history, we make history. All right, it's going to take about 18 months to build a 105 foot building to start building that rocket in. It's not a done deal yet. A 10 year lease with a whole bunch of tax incentives is going to be half to approve by the Board of Harbor Commissions, and that meeting is scheduled for Thursday. But as you just heard the mayor say, seems like it's straight ahead.